Hello, and welcome to another train building tutorial. <laughs> uh, I haven't done one of these in quite a while. <laughs> uh, but today, I'm going to show you how to build a Western engine. And I've been planning to show you this for, I don't know, a long while. <laughs> but today, I'm going to show you how to build this Western engine here. Now, as the like the previous tutorial, this tutorial will be split into two parts. The first part being the actual building of it. And the second part will be the uh, of showing off some variations to the design. Okay, so without further ado, further to do, wow, uh, further ado, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so you want to start off with a 28 by 5 rail like so. You want to kind of down to the first part of the rail. You want to grab some obsidian. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one, place the obsidian. I'm gonna go one, two, and place another obsidian. Then you want to go one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, place some red wool. Then on the side of that red wool, you want to grab some nether brick stairs. You want to place it on each side of the nether of the red of the red wool. You want to leave a gap, another gap, and then red wool to so nether brick stairs. So you've only got one gap between the two red wheels. Like so. And then you want to place another one. Then you want to bring the wall up like a cross and then you want to place on top on each side a uh, never brick stair then you just simply want to come across the other side and repeat the same thing so cross and now I'm doing it slightly differently but you can do it either cross or you can do it but once you but once you have the way it needs to go you can simply just do a red cross and then put the never brick stairs in afterwards like so then we'll come along place your obsidian in and then you want to grab some dark oak wood slabs and you want to come down and you want to place them in a little three by three uh, square here so you want to go on the top side of this one you go turn back by three you just want to bring it across oh, bring it across like so then you want to grab some gray stained clay and you want to bring it back across all the way to the back of this wheel from the beginning of the dark oak um, from the front wheel all the way to the back wheel on top of the dark oak wood slab. So you want to bring them all the way back. Just a slight alteration to what I just said. On these back two, you want to put an oak wood here, spruce there, spruce there, and you do it on the same other side so that you have this shape on the last one. Okay, so you want to grab some black wool now. You want to go one, two, three, four above the obsidian wheels. One, two, three, four. And then on this one, you want to come up to it and you want to bring quartz slabs three across like this on the bottom side. And actually, that needs to be one further out than that, like so. And then you want to bring this across like so on this side. But that is this side. On the opposite side with the quartz slabs, you want to go across. And you want to start on this one. And you will go one, two, three, four, five, like so with the quartz slabs. So they're on the top side. And, they're going to five. and then you want to go one, two, three, four, five. Now I may be wondering why these are different. That's because these will be at different positions where the engine is moving. So your side rods will be at different positions when the engine is moving. You now want to grab your black stone clay. And I just realized I'm saying like your, but I haven't actually told you what the stuff is. That's all right. Uh, and you want to come four across like this, and you want to bring up two gold, and I'm going to put some trapdoors on. Now I know I didn't have trapdoors on on this one over here, but I've not re I've not changed that, because I realised that I'd forgotten to put the trapdoors on for the display model, and I was laughing. So then you want to bring another row across, you want to get your glass panes, you want to go one, two, three, four, you want to go, so they're all two up, you want to come inside. You want to grab your black stone clay, you want to bring that one all the way up on this side, come across this way, do the same, all the way up, all the way up, <laughs> four, two gold, trap door, up, back out, and then two pins up. And then across the top, you want to grab your, some leather brick stairs, you want to go four across like that so they're on the window you want to grab some never brick itself which i do not have so i'm going to quickly rush over here quickly and get the never 
Oh, is it? I've, oh, it's all never slab, but you really want to get another brick, so I'm just going to quickly get that out of my inventory. <laughs> uh, so you just want to bring another brick across all the way. And then on top, you want to grab some other brick slabs, and you just want to slab across the top. <laughs> so there were slabs involved with this, never slab. But they're just supposed to go across the top and they're not supposed to sit on the one on the bottom that one's supposed to be full. Okay, so uh actually what we need to do <laughs> so you have two glass planes, you need to break out these two. I'm sorry if I can make you place them. Uh but you need to break those two out and you need to put glass planes in. Then you need to bring this up by one, two, three, four with some black wool. So you need to specify what I'm doing. Black wool up, one, two, three, four, black wool. And then you need to grab some black stone clay and you need to bring it across. Like so. Then what you want to do is you want to bring this out by two, I believe. Sorry, it's just a little difficult for me to remember this. So bring out that by two. You brought that out by two. You don't want to come up. Oh, not with black stone. You want to come up with that wall like so, and then you want to do a simple little three one like so. So it's just a little one two three up, one two three up, and it doesn't have this one on top, and that one moves you down. And then what you want to do is you want to bring black wool all the way down except at this point where actually you want to switch to uh, black stone clay here at this point and then what you want to do is you want to bring black wool down like so on the side so that's one two three four down like that and, you want to re and as soon as you get to uh so as soon as you've got three before the end you want to change the black stone clay on these lines and then you want to put just the black stone clay quickly in the front and then I want to grab another brick, and you just want to go all the way down, all the way to this point. All the way down. You want to bring it across, like so, on the side on the bottom. You bring it, but you also want to bring it all the way down. And I've forgotten to do that on this side, so let's just bring that all the way down. You want to grab your black stain clay then, and you want to come up one, two, three. And you'll grab some other brick slabs, and you want to just quickly do this with them and then break the one in the middle so you've got a nice little funnel like so. Okay, so now that you've got the base of the engine in we're going to move on to the snow plow or the plow whichever you call it. So you want to come to the front, you want to grab some never brick, you want to go one, two, three across the front with never brick, you want to grab some slabs, you want to go down so it's like this on this one and you want to go on this this one so so it's on the obsidian so you want to place another brick slab on the top side of the obsidian then you want to grab another brick stairs and place one here one here then you're going to get some never brick fence actually and you're going to just take it across by three and then you're going to place one more on front so it's three and then one you're going to replace the stair on each of the fronts of those and then you get one slab and you're going to place it on top and there is your little snow plow I also forgot to mention that actually you also want some uh, fences along the bottom underneath where your blocks are supposed to go. I'm sorry about that, I just forgot to mention them. Okay, so now that the base of the engine is done, we're going to do some little finishing touches on the outside. So you want to come to the front of your engine and you want to come to the black stain croker and you want to place a wooden, uh, le uh, wooden lever, just a lever, uh, in the centre of the black stain cross. You want to grab some red wool, you want to place it on top like so next to the funnel, get an item frame, place it on the red wall and then place a glowstone inside the item frame. You want to then come down the side like so and then on the black, uh, just next to the other brick on the black wall you want to place an item frame, put some snow in and then do the same on the other side. And when we come back down to the back here, uh, and I'm sorry that I've gotten this wrong, uh, but actually what you first need to do is on the sides here come to the wheels, bring it up by two with black wall both on the never brick there and the red wall on the back never bricks there, so just bring it out by two, and then also bring this out by two because that is actually how it's supposed to be done. And then you get a block of gold, two blocks of gold, so you just place block of gold on top of block of gold, and you place a button, and you just grab an anvil and place it there quickly. I will show you how to do that armor stand over there, and I've also just realized anvil is not there, it's there in this orientation, so you need to correct that on your wheel. I will show you how to do that armor stand, but I'll show you after we have done the tender. Okay, so to start with the tender, you want to grab some obsidian. You want to come one, two away from the red stone wall, uh, red wall wheels, and then place some obsidian here. So there's two blocks of that. 
And then between every single obsidian, you want to place one. You want to leave a gap, so you just place like so. You do the same on this side, so that's your wheels in. You want to then grab some grey clay. <laughs> Actually, no, you want to grab some black clay. Sorry, and you want to place it on this grey clay. Then you, uh, you want to get some grey clay and place it on this grey clay. Like so, so you want to just so that's got black thing clay there. Then you want to just go free grey clay, and then you want to great take your grey clay and you just want to come across all of the wheels like so on the tender. And when you come to the back ones, you actually want to go out. So I'm just going to keep going. And you actually want to come up one more like so. And then we grab some never brick stairs, and then you just want to simply go like across like this across the wheels, but you do not want to do it on the back one. And there you have your base of your tender. You don't want to grab your black thing clay, and you want to come to the top of the never brick stairs, and you want to go. Just put them all on top of their brick stairs, and then you want to go along the back here as well, like so. So you just have it all across the back here. Then you want to grab. Then you want to actually also bring this in by one, and then you want to grab your oak fence and just want to place it along your oak fence like so. And actually, you don't want that one or that one. Uh, you want to grab the oak fence all along the back. Then you want to grab some, you go back to your black thing clay, and you just want to place it on the insides of your fence. And then you want to then come to black thing clay back across and place it on top of your fence. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of uh, repeating cycles here. And then that is the base form of your tender. So I've just missed something where you just want to place some black stain clay above these ones like so. Uh, so it's like that, and then you want to grab some buttons, place on both of these, like so. You want to place buttons on both of those, and do it on the same on this side, and then on the buffer beam at the back, you want to grab a drip wire hook, place it on item frames, and then you want to place snow in each of those item frames, and that is your tender done. The inside of the cab is very simple. You just have to grab a furnace place it on in the center there and then you want to place another <laughs> you want to place a uh, dark oak wood fence gate above on that point there you want to grab two levers you want to place them all just above the spruce fence uh, spruce fence spruce stairs you want to grab two item frames place them either side of the dark oak fence and you want to place a compass in each of them okay for the final part the armor stand <laughs> so you want to come to your anvil and you want to go one and then gap and break the wall. Now what you want to do is you want to bring your wall up like so. So you've got it that it goes from the grey one two, just in case you didn't place the bits in the sides. Which I don't blame you, it's a bit of a waste of time. <laughs> then you want to place your armour stand in. Then you want to place a yellow leather cap on your arm stand. And that's kind of wonky so I'm going to just replace that. Oh, okay that's going to be deliberately wonky. Then you want to bring you want to get a piston, not a sticky piston, mind you, so I'm going to have to make sure that I uh, oh, break this so I can get it down. And then you want to again bring the piston up, like so, and yeah, you should make sure that this is definitely a piston, not a sticky piston, so I'm just going to change that quickly. <laughs> and then when I put another item, push, and you just want to break the item on top, and then you have your arm stand in place. So there you have it, a uh, nice little western engine, I say little, it's quite big, a western engine that will fit perfectly in a western themed town or city. Variation, there's not much you can do but like change the colour a little bit. So you can kind of go with like a green like boiler uh, part and then you can go with a green tender like that or you can go with just, uh, I had to change it up to a red boiler part with sun uh, red sandstone stairs. Just for the mention, the green one has spruce stairs. I know, I know, it's because there's not really any green kind of stairs, I'm afraid. Uh, so it's the only one I could really go with. And then, or, and then with the final variation, you can switch it up. I also just realised <laughs> part of that is not correct. <laughs> Missed part of it. Uh, by making the cab red and the tender red. Uh, obviously, you can use hardened clay if you don't want to use wool, if you don't like the texture of wool, you know, that's fair enough. You know, you can use hardened clay in these situations. 
Uh, but you generally want to stick with your reds and your greens and your blacks and your uh, and um, kind of your yellows as well. You can also use yellow in this. And you, you don't really, you know, you don't really want to stray too far away from these colours. You can maybe use blue if you have blue for the plough. But unfortunately, I don't think there's many blue blocks you can use which are blue, which are st have stairs and slab variances. Uh, if, if at all, to be honest. So yeah, so there's only real slight variation with uh, colour and uh, just ch experiment with the colour. You know, if you don't like it being that, like, all that all the black colour, you know, just all the black, you know, experiment with some reds and some greens and uh, and also some yellows can be thrown in and just see what uh, refits your boat because, you know, it's, I, I really wish you guys, you know, would take these designs and you just like start like altering their colours and then also maybe improving upon them, you know, if you want to go improve upon them, you can go improve upon them. Uh, okay, and that will be it for today's episode, uh, so we have built this uh, lovely western engine which can be used in uh, any of your western towns uh, and it uses the standard five uh, across five wide rails so as in five wide is in sleepers the rails themselves are actually three wide but five wide rail with sleepers thank you for watching and I hope you like uh, these tutorials if you want to see more of these tutorials from me uh, uh, consider giving this video a like as it kind of tells me that hey these videos are popular. I should continue on making, uh, a, you know, kind of making tutorial on building uh, engines in Minecraft. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.